Hello everyone, welcome to the CSI studio. I'm Mark Dorsey, CSI Chief Executive Officer. I'm here this morning with Nancy Novak in your great keynote. You showed some really cool dashboards about how a project might come together and what completion rate looks like. But I also heard in that that we are so overwhelmed with technology and adoption and you know the fact we have these little supercomputers we carry that uh, some of the natural human objection is, man, it's just one more thing that I've got to contend with. Talk to me a little bit about how you see technology being adopted in a way that's productive and how you overcome those objections so that you have a more effective, efficient workplace. So my philosophy is a lot, largely deal, it deals with like process and a lot, I know people have heard this before, process and systems have to come before technology, but, um, but it's a bit of a, a double-edged sword here, mm -hmm. right? Um, because sometimes technology drives process. Mm -hmm. It just does. Mm -hmm. So I try to look at technology that, you know, number one, like I said before, any kind of innovation should drive good behaviors. Um, and when I say good behaviors, that means technology that is, um, is not a burden on mm -hmm. your staff. I know I'm being rhetorical because that's kind of a general statement, but I, I absolutely look at technology by saying, okay, what are our needs versus our wants? Mm -hmm. You know, um, and then what kind of technology enables the processes to get to our needs? Mm -hmm. And um, I was just giving someone after my speech an example of needs versus wants. Mm -hmm. And so what happens, mm -hmm. like punch list is the best example ever, mm -hmm. because what we get told or what the tech firms ask us is, what do you want? And we say, we want an easy way to do punch list because we hate doing punch list. And instead, what we need is a way to eliminate punch list. Right. Right? Yep. While I recognize that technology can drive that discussion, sometimes it's the shiny new object and where, where I also see that falling down is we don't actually do the requirements planning related to the application of the technology and if you can't actually diagram out what the process is you already have mm -hmm. and see how it can change, well then you're behind the curve to begin with yep. and the people that need to adopt it don't actually feel like they have a voice in creating it in the first place, right. which is another barrier to wanting to use it. In it the is. Trip. And if you give people too much flexibility, it becomes chaos at an enterprise level, right? So I think that adoption is very important. And like we were just saying before we started here, what's the best tool? The best tool is a tool that gets used. Right. I mean, I, I, I like to tell my staff, like, you know, there are certain tools that we use in our industry that give us good integrity in the data that we have that helps us make decisions, right? Right. So when you're using these tools, if they're just draining the life out of you, then that's not the right tool, right? Or you're, right. Or you're using it in a way that, you know, as you said, um, isn't, um, the process isn't very, vetted, very well vetted out. I always tell them, I literally say like, you know, when you're using your tools that help us make good decisions, I want you to love that tool so much that you put it under your pillow at night <laughs> and you keep it safe because you can't do your job without it and it's a great tool, right? That's what we're looking for. If I could get that in a quarter every morning, I'd probably get the <laughs> reward. So, oh look, it's a software fairy. I get a quarter every yes. time I use this. <laughs> Nancy, thank you so very much for your time and joining us. I'm Mark Dorsey, Chief Executive Officer of CSI, and you've been in the CSI studio.